Okay. So, it has been... a while. <laughs> Month and a half? Since Last Sea of Sorrows. Um, those of you who don't watch the other ones and such, I got sick with the flu over Christmas. And then on the 5th of January, I had a stroke. So that's why we haven't been there for a while. Um, I'm doing considerably better. And, uh, yeah. Beyond that, the standard things, since this is based on Ravenloft, which is a Wizard of Coast IP, um, I'm extending two things. First of all, Hasbro, I offer you $1,000 for the burning trash fire that is Wizards of the Coast currently. I expect that this will be plenty of uh, pay considering how far it's dropped in its value. If you want to take me up on that, just message me. I'll, uh, we will work it out, okay? If that's not the case, then fuck you, go away. Nobody cares. I'm, everything is going to start being 5e compatible. Fuck your OGL. <laughs> <laughs> and I've demonetized us because that was the first 18 seconds of this video, so fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like we make like money we anyway. anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if we did, we'd be in so much legal trouble. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, I certainly would be in, in debt with Moogle. <laughs> okay, so last okay, time. Paid <laughs> for. Last time we were here, I terrorized this entire group with space clouds, which chased them through the unquenchable. A gnomish side wheel spell jammer that has found itself in a horrible place in the domains of dread. As we last left off, though, they had reached the strange voice that had been guiding them through the ship in some kind of weird floating orb instead of some kind of holographic projection of information and a bunch of arcane symbols around it, and Elliot had just discovered what he suspects is just a lich wearing full plate, suspended from chains and cables and not seeming to be very active at this moment. So, as I last recall, Elliot had raised his sword and was preparing to uh, go to war on this thing. That's right, uh, he, had just, he had just got the visions of, uh... Ah, uh, yes, I remember this state. now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been a while, sir. <laughs> Elliot has been holding his sword for a month now. <laughs> He's been waiting. Which it pro he probably could do that considering he's a, a damn peer, but uh, anyway. Well, I'm uh, pretty sure he still has muscle fatigue. That doesn't you, just because you're on ten doesn't mean your muscles don't get tired. We, anyway, we don't know. It depends. Uh, I remember a vampire movie I read one, or listened to one time. Uh, uh, do we see this right? Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, that, you pointed it out. Yeah, there's just it's less glowy but more just hanging there. No, 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 we see Elliot, like, attempting to stab. Oh, yeah. Uh, and the weird floating orb thing in the middle of all the holographic projections. Um, again, as I said, he seems to have gone in some dormant state. Elliot, what are you doing? This thing destroyed an entire world of innocent lives and souls. I'm also pretty sure he killed his way through most of the ship. Before the clowns. Elliot, currently he's the only thing keeping us non de -clowned. Down the hallway. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> oh no. Uh, well, I'll go with the roll. Do I see him, like, before? Because I'm assuming he's slamming his sword down. I'm imagining you're all staring at him. I mean, depending. 
yeah. I, I'm okay. going to assume this that you all are. Do I have enough time to throw a psychic dagger at his hand to make him drop the sword? Going by our previously rolled uh, initiative, yes. I mean, okay, me... all three of you could probably go before Elliot. <laughs> Deckham, I'll let you go first if you want to do something, since we'll just go off initiative. Elliot, can you please at least let, him, let me take a nap? I am almost out of spells. If we try to fight that thing, I won't be any use. You can just see Elliot is like... Probably the most expressionable face of anger. Alright, we tried words. I mean, uh, he's listening to it. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> right out his hand. I think a 23 hits. Yes, he doesn't have that high of an AC. Then I need you to roll me a strength. Uh, strength save or just strength? Yeah, strength save. Okay. Kyle, literally five seconds in, wow. tries work, no. doesn't work, and then you immediately... Dropped... <laughs> what I was going to do was the damage dealt halved, just okay. like a, a con save, concentration save, and uh, Elliot failed. Okay, I'm getting the bad rolls today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled almost so far, so good, so far, so good. So, yeah, Elliot, you uh, drop the blade. Mm. All right. Now, like Deckham said, we need to rest. I understand your general anger and hatred, but I w don't wish to die in this fucking ship. I feel like we have more pressing matters than whatever this is. Yeah. What the fuck? you. <laughs> so, like, like it's like a there's like a window, and you see the cloud, and then Deckham just closes the curtain. <laughs> Fine. God. God damn it! <laughs> oh no! The players are even better because one of them fails. <laughs> I think this is why you had a stroke. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! <laughs> Man's gone for a month, doesn't play any games, and just immediately hits him with a bomb. <laughs> He 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 just goes he just goes straight for the jugular with stunning strike. I see whose character is dying first. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll just roll this one more time. Fine. We have major points. Uh, thank you, Elliot. Ah. Uh. Keeping up with these two was difficult as it was without using all of my spells. I mean, that's not... If you three just saw the visions I did. <sighs> Is this thing powerful enough to control and murder an entire world? The fuck are the four of us going to do about it? We can glare menacingly at it. That tends to work. I think Elliot's got that handled for us all. Eric has a long contemplating thought of it. Elliot will, because I rolled a 90 on his wisdom saving throw, he'll just take a deep breath, which, despite his nature, there is breath coming out of it. And he will just slowly turn his back to that thing. The 
We'll take our rest and decide what to deal what to do next. Thank you. Are you guys taking a short or a long? I think we're gonna need a long rest of the spells back. Yeah, I don't think there's any other, any other way for me to get spells back other than a long. I'm sure. Oh, that, right. So I'm, I'm good either way. If I'm not Sorry. mistaken, um, Declan casted haste on Elliot, too, didn't he? Oh, yeah. So I get hit, like, oh. I mean, we probably already went through the lethargy. Yeah, we did, like, yeah, when we stopped here. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, let me just take those down. Let me just take those icons off. Alright. Uh, yeah. Elliot will just walk away if uh, we're not in combat anymore. I mean, I wasn't... Well, I guess technically I was in combat, but still. Alright, I get my psionic dice back, so I guess I technically do get something off a of long rest. The rest is probably better for all of you, but... We should probably discuss other situations, though we could take the time to do that. I mean, we're yes. here. Sorry, go ahead. But, uh, now that you've brought us here, why did you bring us here? Well, to be quite honest, I believe that you're here to retrieve me, aren't you? Well, we're here to retrieve the entirety of the ship, not just its programming. I'm afraid the Unquenchable cannot be salvaged. Damn. Mostly because it's now inside of a pocket dimension, of my understanding, and also part of an asteroid. Huh. Which broke apart and has caused a considerable amount of damage to the ship, which... To be honest, Stoma's creations of Stoma's side wheels are not exactly the strongest things, and then the hamsters got loose. Well, ain't that some shit? Well, that is going to irritate the good captain. Elias is thinking about it. Are I mean, you more. Above, above table, you guys remember that you were here for a specific type of uh, transplanar drive. Yeah, that's actually. Oh. Yeah, Elliot was actually going to ask a question into that line of. When you say we are to retrieve you, are you more or less the. part of the shit that makes it unique? I am the experimental drive system, the dominant construct developed to maintain the engine itself and run the calculations. So if we remove you, are you going to wake up the big guy? I am not entirely sure what is going to cause him to wake or to stay asleep. I do know that there may be some spatial disruptions if... I am detached from the ship as certain support systems are required to maintain the ship as it is. Huh. Alright, so how are we going to carry you then? I'm assuming you have a smaller case or something? As you watch the hologram goes into a bit more of a uh, thinner thing and then you watch this pedestal from the center of it rise up and a spherical object with a glass port on two sides appears and uh, it's about the size of a football oh that's a little bit easier I guess once we're well rested and get moving, then someone can remove that, and hopefully we don't get killed immediately. I'll be a perception. 
Oh boy. Okay. All of us, or? Well, you can all roll a perception, but you know, I'll, I'll go off the bat. 16. Guys. <laughs> Guys, what the fuck? <laughs> Guys! God damn it. Man. We're doing I'm... great. Yeah, we're Good doing job, great. Man. I'm Good so night. glad we decided to not <laughs> fucking strike the lich. <laughs> Elliot. What? It sure is putting off a lot of weird moving green energy. It must be like a fire in there. Zimar. Yes? You see little tiny shapes moving inside the glass. Deckham. You realize there's some writing. There's some kind of maker's mark on it, but you'd have to get closer to look. And Kyle. Why are those green monkeys dancing inside of this? I want to shoot Son myself. <laughs> Should I be worried about this? There's like green monkeys in there. Give Give me a moment. I've noticed a maker's mark. He'll wait. Scooch green. in and take a look. B R. <laughs> God damn it. T, T C H. <laughs> made this oh dear <laughs> um should we be worried yes i can nearly guarantee it's explosive why I'll... see this uh, i'm just it's... gonna walk over here <laughs> this is a well-known crafter from jordoba who does two things very well makes things that blow up and apparently space travel. Not sure how those two correlate. I mean, general combustion rules, but even still. Well, yes, he does say combustion rules a lot. God damn it. <laughs> the Gretch has, uh, reached multi-universal, uh, power. <laughs> I'm, I'm not surprised, considering that fucker. <laughs> you know, once this device is removed, I'm sure the plinth and most things attached to the plinth, as he, he uses his hand to gesture over to the fucking Necron. <laughs> I can assure you, he's not a Necron. He looks like one. That is, we'll a, human, that, that is a very human bone skull. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we have a rigged explosive that the moment we touch it, we have like probably three seconds to run or die. That's Actually, I can shoot you that pretty stable. So long as you don't breach containment. You. Which containment would be the canister that is around you? Yes. Fantastic. Oh, so we just have a bomb with a casing, then. That's always fun. Uh. So am I to understand that this object, once we extract it and possibly return this to Miss Syndra Gallows, her ship will become something like this one that we're in. Or explode. At this point, I'm expecting it to explode. Possibly both. <laughs> that was designed to be implemented in a number of vehicles. Oh, I see. And Wolf Forge, for that matter. Why does Jordoba just sound completely fucked? Wait, you just said Warforge. Forge. I know, just limited about that. <laughs> She's looking at Degum. <laughs> The terrifying prospect about that is I was created in the same plane as this fine gentleman here. So, I probably work. Don't know what I can do with it. Please don't explode, Deckham. I do that constantly anyway. I am more worried about the trip back now if we are to 
be carrying a bomb. I was going to say merchandise of unique value. Payload, right? That works too. Well, I mean, put it this way: if I'm able to correctly calibrate it, I think I might be able to just get us out of here. With what? I'm not sure. Well, what do you want to try to do? Well, if I combine with this fine gentleman, I could possibly transverse the space time. If I'm getting that right, sir. <laughs> I, it is possible if you have the proper hardware, but... My sensor readings indicate that you are formerly a heavy combat and utility with adjustments. That would be highly correct, yes. Can we just use the plinth that he's on as a base to open a hole and just revert, divert all power to here? Or whatever's left anyway. That yeah, way we don't. Matrix would allow for it. I don't know enough though about magical tinkering that wouldn't cause it to explode. So, Deck, am I? Uh, hope you would. <laughs> to be able to do yeah. that, you would have to reroute ninety percent of the ship's arcane function flight, er, flight functions here. However, that is sizably impossible. Yes, it also seems like we would need to go through the ship to do that. I mean. I can run through the ship with varying degrees of success. I watched you deal with a generator. No. <laughs> to be fair, I told the Mar to punch it. I did well with it. We must also remember... Well, I did punch it pretty well. We also need to remember that we do have a infestation that I do not think will give us a time or luxury to gestures of the machinery manipulate <laughs> fucking kill yourself. the contents here <laughs> and I know for a fact that I know absolutely nothing of this machinery that you're all familiar with to degrees well let me ask this then can we reroute enough power where we could just open it to outside the ship without destroying all the space time or doing bigger pockets That's still a funny robot, man. I can be adjusted, but I'm designed to operate on a ship-wide level. <sighs> there is no ship-wide configuration for me to teleport just within a small space on this ship. Well, that is also the cause of what directed us to be here. So, uh, I'm not entirely sure that I can do with it. Huh. Right. Well, I got nothing. You're not sure if you can do that, how? What, what would be our escape route? If I'm detecting things correctly, a small vessel has appeared on the up side of the cargo hold. It so appears we would have to make our way back through the, most of the entirety of the ship. Actually, the cargo holds through that door over there. Oh, shit. Will we still well, be dealing Sounds like a good plan as any. I do not detect any clouds or uh, light bulbs through that direction, to be honest. Who wants to carry him? Because I don't. I shall. I have the proper housing to contain a unit such as this. Were you going to get a long rest before that? You had mentioned such. Please. Oh, well, I'll prepare. Please. <laughs> Please, I need it. I suppose we might as well. Yeah, I'm gonna be running more. May need it. Although, even though... 
looks at the system again. You say you don't detect any life forms, but are there any movement or inorganic beings in through there? As he just gestures... on the vessel that appeared next to it, there was a small swell jam on that appeared next to it. There is an energy, but I don't detect anything living. And movement is. My scanners don't read into the ethereal or astral plane, so it could be something existing outside of that. Or a mechanic. Such as a golem. Or an auto. Within, within possibly a, a, a 150 feet. Sorry, repeat that? Are they within 150 feet, aka message distance? One second, let me. Oh, it's 120 feet. Let me do a measurement here. <laughs> Said measurement. No. They're approximately 280 feet from me. All right then. Give me a moment. <laughs> If you would all like, I can play some soothing music while you sleep. As long as it's not... Cues to weird. the Samsung default <laughs> alarm sound. No, the fucking, uh, the, the OG Apple ringtone. <laughs> God, what a fucking cursed ringtone that was. <laughs> Actually, no. Considering how old this thing is comparatively, is, his load, is he just a Windows Vista loading... Sound. Din, 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 din. XP. Ew, no, God, kill me. <laughs> I'd sooner die. I'll go back with the clowns. But, um, 98. Ew, <laughs> good point. No, it's just the <laughs> dial up sound. Allow me to establish connection. <laughs> 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 Someone is trying to make a phone call. Please hold. Ah. Receiving fax. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, fax machines also sound like shit. Welcome to AOL. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you got mail. Um, but if you have any soothing music, please. Better than half the shit we've been listening to. Um, I might have some good music, maybe. Waiting for generic fantasy music. <laughs> oh, misty Mountain. <laughs> I don't know, maybe this might be more foreboding. <laughs> he tried, I guess. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> let, me, let me see. There's gotta be tavern sounds with people fucking punching in the background. <laughs> it's just about ship logs and people fighting, drunk. Well, there were gnomes. That's what I'm saying. Well, there are gnomes and, do gnomes and dwarves, I'm pretty sure. Also, if Gretchen was on here, I'm pretty sure there's like the hole exploded at least three times. That would actually be possible. I guess this is more relaxing than anything. This cow kind of just lays back. Are you guys doing watches? Elliot will take first watch. <laughs> Who's doing second? No, it's what's on second. I can do. <clears throat> I can do the second. And third. 
I guess I'll do third. So, Declan, you're last. Good news, everyone. My house isn't on fire. Oh, oh wow. shit. <laughs> Declan, that's great news. Yeah, Declan, why would your house be on fire? My internal alarm is going off. <laughs> Did your housemate set it on fire on accident? No, she was cooking dinner. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, I see. Mrs. Mrs. K was in the stove. Okay. Were you having a memory bank error where uh, where somebody was? <laughs> <laughs> I see. So I guess Adek was taking all watch and then fourth. <laughs> okay. So I'm, what I'm learning is I'm never trusting Carly's car. Just kidding. <laughs> No, it's the oven was on five hundred. All the shit that was in it had to. Oh yeah, that smell. Ugh. Oh, dear yeah. God, what the hell was she doing at five hundred? She's broiling like probably. Wait, 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 what? Why? <laughs> oh, my chicken fingers at four twenty five. It's part of the D and D cookbook. What do you want from me? That just sounds confusing to me because five hundred is cleaning temperatures. Yeah. Or bro or broiling, usually broiling as well as like five fifty. I mean, like, if I was putting something at five fifty, I'd be putting like a. A huge ass uh, pork roast, or yeah, that's what, what said. What the cookbook said, <laughs> guys. I know. <laughs> wow. we're, we're anyway, <laughs> anyway, back to it. <laughs> so Deckham. Yes. Because I rolled ahead of this. Oh god. Which direction? What are you leaving on your watch? Uh, well, since. Oh. Uh, I'm probably scanning between, uh, uh Josh is probably scanning around the room, mainly keeping an eye on the door. Only a perception, then. That's a... 15. You just catch it out of the corner of your eye as you see one of the cables you're standing on. This green glow comes out of the darkness, zips down it, and the instant it touches you, you hear a voice in your head. There's a language you don't recognize at first before it changes. Mortal. I will make you a deal. Well, that's the first time I've called a morphle before. See a single green dot that you realize is inside of an eye socket up here. I offer you the choice. As you are newcomers here, it means you have found a way out. You will assist me in exiting this. Or you can die tired and suffer until there is nothing but living before you. Alright, and now would I assist you in exiting? We will simply leave together. Though I sense a strong aura of someone that would not agree with me. That is extremely correct. Then I offer you the choice. Kill him, and there will be no problems. Or allow me to kill him. And I will take one of the other two out of trouble. As it states, it looks like you're being that runs purely off of electricity such as myself. And possibly arcane power. With your we current are... predicament. We 
You and I are nothing but my machine. Oh, good. Just because I sit here in slumber does not mean you do not stand before a god. It's quite unfortunate for you, so I was built to kill those. Deckham, he watches. Now it's two eyes green flame like seems to build within it like the starting of a furnace this noxious green smoke begins to pour out around the skull and the ribs lights begin to glow there's a weight that was on the ship through these chains and such that is now being lessened and you hear the creaks and groans and everybody can roll me a con check to wake up because it's loud. Um, Elliot took the first watch too. Does he hear this already? You're all asleep, so yeah, oh. you're. Okay. That's why I'm saying you're you're able to wake or check to wake up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> ah, yes, <laughs> the fear boner. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we got a. The sense of adrenaline. It's tingling. You, you too, Zimar. <laughs> Zamar. His last catnap. <laughs> he die. finally died. Oh no. We've been waiting for this moment all along. Zamar. Jason. 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 Sorry. Buddy, did you fall into the shadow realm? <laughs> did this ro green robot took your soul while you were asleep? Might be AFK at the moment. That could be it. <laughs> well, let's just assume he didn't get waken up by the giant smash. Okay, so I, uh, uh Deckham being that close, I need you to make me a wisdom save. Okay. Why are we don't really good at these? You all got your foot long Stop. rest, by the way. Fucking why? Let me tell you. I saw the nuts. I saw the net 20 and got excited. Then I saw it. Oh, oh, there we go. Here's Zamar. Zamar, you need to run, roll a con save, please. To see if you wake up. You woke up. Yay. A little bit of pepper that side of the. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Zamar woke up with a. Baby dog. She wanted to play Path of Exile. Uh, Aww. That's nice. Aww. <laughs> We'll do it soon, but I'm playing D and D, 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 okay? Okay, love you, bye. <laughs> oh. Uh, Deckham, I need you to roll me a D8, please. Okay. Jeebus's rolls are getting them today. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's a bad thing at this point with that thing is concerned. Deckham, you being usually a automaton, normally completely devoid of emotion and fear, the realization that what you thought was the sound of a boiler kicking on as a gas heater underneath it, you suddenly realize is the sound of hundreds, maybe thousands of screeching souls being burned and destroyed. inside of this thing and uh that's uh, 17 psychic damage Jesus I'm a muted <laughs> uh, he was so scared. I, I've been talking this whole time too. 
You hear behind you, Kyle, and all of you hear behind. I would suggest we vacate. Beckham, what did you do? I to leave. I gave you a choice. You chose to die tired. Don't worry. You won't be alone with the rest of the soccer crew. Uh, who has the funny football? Okay, I'm nice. Yeah. Sleep. <laughs> All right. Um, Still I guess point. we start going. <laughs> Actually, oh god. I'm sticking with this initiative. All right. Time to die. <laughs> Is it going to cost me an action to uh to grab the football? No, I'll say it's a bonus to pick something up. Okay, great. I'm going to run over here. Actually, it would be an action to open your chest and put it in, but... All right, great. The bonus action, action, grab, slam, slam the cover shut. I got another 15 feet and I make it to the door. Slam, bam, thank you, ma'am. It's time to go. Oh, God, not this again. Okay, oh, right. You listen as he, he's starting to, the chains are starting to snap off that have been holding him up. Cables are popping with loud hisses. Uh, is this locked? Nope. But I have to move you to a map. So. Um, I have, alright, let me look. I did 25. I should still have another 10. Yeah, I have another 10 feet. So, I'll go 10 feet in. Oh, are we all moving? I'm just gonna assume. Okay, because. Okay. What does that say? Coffee yeah. snack bar? Um, Can we go there? <laughs> oh. Maybe when we're not dying or in threat of dying. Yeah. How to make the weirdest gnomish Matt Thargo hold you can. <laughs> Find literal right. garbage. So, current order is screwed up, so I'm going to go into this. Move it all. Clear. Everybody roll to re-add. I wish I kept between, but... Yeah. That's... Roll 20 apparently doesn't have the tech. Wow. I mean, it's just... Oh, uh, wow. My initiative is just... Boy! <laughs> no, no, they're... they're uh, I have this set. Don't worry. Okay. Boy. I just want you to roll. Mine was 22, I think. Uh, actually, hold on. No! Oh, I forgot, I forgot oh, to click myself is what I forgot to do. There just go. roll. Stop whining. I did roll. I just see who's also following us. You're missing a deck of them. Demus, roll harder. <laughs> Throw your dice to the screen. Demus? I think he's muted oh. again. Or the house that on already, fire. Or that or, yeah, that or he's burning his chicken fingers again. Also, I hope Deepest made enough to share. <laughs> that that will depend. I mean, if the house fully burnt down, I... I, I no, he better save the chicken fingers. I don't care if his house is burnt down. I want the chicken fingers. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know you could actually sort them by that. Interesting. I, I just went in and did it. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. I was very confused. I thought it was a new feature they added where it actually, like, shows the turn order instead of the initiative counter. Where no. am I? Uh, I don't know. I need you to do it. Do well, that's right, right. Roll harder, Jeebus. You do it for the chicken fingers. <laughs> well, we're all gonna die. All right, so it was Kyle's turn. He was able to make it 10 feet in, so I'm going to say I've assumed there, right? Yeah. All righty. Uh, then that was next up would be Zimar, which if he was running, I think that was 30 feet to the door. Yep. 
It was about 30 feet. I mean, I can still... Yeah, I'm going to say take 30, you can take 30 off of what you got, if you, however fast you want to be. Um, well... What is it, double double my speed? Cat, feline agility? Yeah. Yes. It's been like a whole month, you know, since we and did then this. If you action, so, and then if you action dash, <laughs> that's technically quadrupled. I, I've seen this shit many a time. It hurts my brain every day. I don't even know where I'm going. I think I'll just... I think I'll just sit right here for now. And wait for the team. Gold. I don't want to get too far ahead. <laughs> Gold team rules! Okay. I you know, think... Unless Elliot wants to fight him. We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a Elliot, feeling Elliot no. might... Um, yeah, I think I'll just... I think I'll just move... Oh. I can't move that way. I think I'll just stay right here then. Yeah, the path goes, like, up and through. Uh, so, right now... Just a little bit of squeezy spots. <laughs> okay, I think I'll just sit, like, right... Oh. Okay, that's fine. I think I'll just sit right here and wait. Okay, so Elliot, you were, like, ten feet from the door, so it's yeah. up to you. Question, is everyone else out the door? I think uh, you and, or Deckham was just about to the door. I, I guess I should put it this way. Deccan was at the door. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to say where you guys are on the map now is where you guys are, just, just for the sake of it. Okay. Bonus action. I'm going to use spiritual weapon. Oh, no. To see that thing actually uh, takes that, uh, just chip it down while running away. <laughs> <laughs> what a cock. Yeah, cow traps. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> uh, let me see. I just want to check something. Can I cast this? No, I don't have any upper level spells. Okay, yeah. So that will be add that thing. Um, not that plus one radiant because I don't have divine favor anymore. Twelve to hit it. Yeah. Does not hit it. I figured, but, uh... I mean, I'll put it this way. Actually, you hit it, but it doesn't do anything at that level. Ellie probably figured it out, but... Your spiritual weapon glanced. <laughs> Give him a nice shoulder pat, and then was like, Good day, sir. And then... <laughs> oh, alright. Ellie's gonna uh, hold his action to dash only after Deckham uh, gets through that door first because he has the actual package. You uh, you watch as uh, some seriously heavy chains begin popping off and sliding off more things and that fiery glow is starting to get brighter. Deckham! I know this isn't going to work at all. That's that's not the spirit. Yeah, it's the spirit because I'm going to try to catch charm monster. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Hello, I am a sexy wolf. You're a sexy metal man. <laughs> Man just threw a pheromone potion at him. <laughs> just let us leave in peace. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah, I figured. <laughs> Imagine if he rolled a nat one. Can you not reduce things if he's weird? <laughs> no? Okay. Well, uh, I will then use Tempestuous Magic to boost my ass to, I guess, where I am because I was five foot from the door. I, I just assumed you were at the door. Just for yeah. It. Okay. Uh, I guess with that, Elliot will dash after him. <laughs> that's, that's what I said. I will leave. <laughs> time to go, time to go, time to go. Yeah, leave. Uh, time to me. Uh, I guess since I said I'll dash after him, uh, what will be my 35 movement? Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Uh, as I'm moving out, I'll probably just slam that door closed if, uh... <laughs> Can I? Alright. You know, uh, about how far is it from here to here? It's about a 20 foot drop. You know what? Fuck it. Tuck and roll. Oh, wait, I can't jump off. And well, that's 15. Hmm. You want me to just roll acrobatics? Sure. Unless you want to flop. That's good enough. I'm gonna say, I also technically have, uh... Um, where would I land, then? Since I've got, like, a 15 foot... Um, hold on, I do have something. I mean, you could land on top of the train. It's up to you. Yeah, I'll land on top of it. Like, probably at the furthest edge. Because I only have to use, like, five foot of movement for a standing... Oh, wait, no, hold on. For a running jump. Yeah, for five feet. Alright, that's 15 feet. <laughs> I am now stuck in the train car. Do you want down or where are you going? Uh, actually, can I hop onto the snack bar? Sure. This is so I have leverage. Okay, I think I like. There, I'll move there for movement. So you all just see, watch as Kyle just flips off the banister, flips down on the train, and then flips onto the snack bar. Um, don't see the ship anywhere. Like at all. God, I hope it's so. A... a very dull glow. Way the fuck over here. Oh, okay, okay. That's what that was. Never mind. It's around the snack bar. So we're fine. Until that thing blows up a door. In like five se in about like 12 seconds. Is it Mar? Yes. It it's your turn. Oh, already. Um, so you don't see anything. There's a lot of... Oh, am I in this? Am I in this, or... I think it's the faster music. Can I go in this, or do I go on top uh, of this? See. I might have something. I don't know if I'm supposed okay. to go on top of this, or... Uh, you... There, you see there's a pathway over that school. Oh. Okay, I see. You see, I did the fun rogue way to be an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> like, how our party has a climb speed now? I think that's fine. Actually, three-fourths of us do. I think Deckham's the only one that doesn't. Really? Hey, I'm skipping. Uh, right, so you know what? I don't know what my spiritual weapon is doing, but I'm just hoping it's there just being a pest to that thing, so, uh, bonus action, the spiritual weapon will take another swing at it, if it's still there. This is not in my line of sight. I don't know what's going on. But, uh, with that, Ellie is going to use his dash action, so... How is this place built again, or... You guys are up above things, then it's kind of a maze. So, where you guys are, I just pass through there, there. This guy all had to go the other way. Okay, so that's thirty. I still have. Uh, hold on. Um. I know, 70, so I still got 40 feet of movement. That's the thing, is I did, did I wanted to put the walls in to, to stop movement. So they're transparent. <laughs> I wanted you to see the map. <laughs> and you realize yeah. half our party could just climb up them. <laughs> yeah, especially considering that... that Which might not be a great idea. But, you know... <laughs> that, yeah, that's one of those things, like, in retrospect, it's like, yeah, well... <laughs> Because Ellie also has this spider climb as well. <laughs> yeah, <they're poor>. yeah. <laughs> sometimes you want to stay out of the tall grass, and sometimes you don't. Sometimes, the, sometimes they have the TM cut to say "fuck the tall grass." But uh, for right now, though, I'm just gonna be making my.
And that's it. Let me just count this down because the spiritual weapon is only uh, is only uh, a minute. Thankfully, it's not a concentration spell. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Yeah, Deckham, you've heard the sound of ripping metal. Oh, especially good. doors being torn off. Oh, good. But you've rarely ever seen them fly 50 feet straight through. Oh, bad. <laughs> Deckham, aren't you made out of the same material as that door? <laughs> Damn, Deckham. Sucks. Why don't you climb up here and join us? Fuck you. <laughs> oh, shit. We just went to doom. Hello, you watch it. You watch it. It's it, it dented in from, like, something hitting it. Like, you, you're like, I think Zidmar could do something like that. Uh, so yeah, now, now it's your turn, Deckham, as you see this thing come through, you know, crouch down to get through this door and just knock through the wall. I have a question. I'm going to have to squeeze through here. Yeah. Yep. Alright, so that's 25. 30. It's not really a squeeze. It, it's, it's tight, but it's not a squeeze. I'm going to try to put as much steel between me and him as possible. <laughs> it's like, turn the, turn the corner. He's here. And he's pissed. Is this, is this virtual weapon still hitting? <laughs> no, no missing. It's like, sla it's like a glove that keeps slapping him in the face. <laughs> you see there's a scratch on, like, one part of his armor. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> it, it. I mean, it, it's deep. Enough to be considered a damaging wound, but you're, you're not entirely sure how damaging it was. Oh, that's fine. I, that thing that thing was only there just to be uh, endurance. It's like he got bit by a mosquito. Even a mosquito can fell a giant creature with the right amount of time. <laughs> we don't have that amount of time. No, we don't. Yeah, he just made, he just made that steel reinforced door look like wet tissue paper. Alright, that's 15. Can I jump to that? Since I only, I do have like five foot of running. Thank you. The things that I block off with walls. <laughs> Don't make it a climbing thing, because half our party could just go through it. I do like... I made it like this. Alright, that should be my move. Why is there a cow skull on one of the crates? And why is there a cat with a bandana? Is that barrel radioactive? The fuck's a radio? And why is it active? Zumar. Do you wish to join yes, me on my yes. Do you wish to join me on my crate jumping adventure? Uh I see oh, there's a nice shield. You have a temple on shield. I can't believe the Holy Grail was in here the entire time, and no one took it. <laughs> I just want to roll a perception. Anything that might stand out in this particular area. Because it's been relatively quiet around here. Well, there's a box of gnomish porn. Uh, ah, sweet. Damn! <laughs> a, box of, a box of what is called the Lusty Argonian Maid. Wait, ah! uh, question. Did they die hard? Oh, that's the other box, but... <laughs> short, oh, God. short and hard. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a shield. Labeled there's a Christmas crate. movies. <laughs> there's a oh, crate man. labeled... Oh, Fast and Furious, we're going. <laughs> the Fast and the Furry, yes. Warfare. <laughs> there's be two sacks of, of gold. There's a throne made of wood and gold and gems. Inside that cargo container to the north, you see what appears to be... A stack of possibly weapons, but you're not sure. Do we have time to grab that to deck them? <laughs> there's, this, there's a book labeled Warforge Gone Wild. <laughs> it's just a series of blueprints. No, it's just called iRobot. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> it's, like, it, it's that thing where you pull it, open it up, and it's just like, why is this a wiring diagram? What the fuck does this even mean? And Deckham's like, oh, oh, <laughs> It's like Deckham looked at it. 
It's like you should put that down. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm good. Wait, I'm they don't have any play bot body. Anyway. Can't believe they don't have any playbot in there. Look at those cathodes. <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> I'm so glad that like it went from tense clown chase to fuck it, we don't care. Turn around yell at him, you're not as scary as the clowns. <laughs> now Moolah's is gonna fucking kill us. Yeah. <laughs> The only way we can get through this is with humor. Yes. <laughs> anyway, is that all you're doing so far? Yep. I mean, you also notice what looks to be a jet, you know, I mean, you have no idea what a jet engine is, but you kind of have a weird feeling that this thing might be doing something. I have a weird That's feeling that I should me. not punch it. <laughs> Fuck it, I just got a DM from Sam that's just like, yes, those cathodes, I hate my life. Is Sam watching? <laughs> yeah, Sam watches all his dreams. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. God damn it. Question, how high are these, uh, these wall things here? About nine feet. Well, I got spider climb, so I'm going to quickly look over to Deckham. Use your ability to move faster, since I think me, Kyle, and... Zamara able to climb through these things. Uh, I was planning on it. Good. Uh, so he's definitely gonna climb up. Uh, heading this way. Plus, I also want to take a good look at where that, mich that creature thing is, or at least if he's still within visual sight. Okay, because, uh, again, bonus action, spiritual weapon, smacking this thing one more time. I'm gonna keep trying this until, uh, this thing is fully upset with my existence. I'm pretty sure it is by you existing in a general space anyway. Pepper, what the fuck do you want? Go back on the, go back to the place where you just meow. Okay. What? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I was very confused. My, okay. okay, Pepper will go downstairs in the basement and then just meow, just to hear his own voice. Oh, yeah, oh I, yeah. thought, I thought that was your child <laughs> for a minute. No, the but, other uh, day she's like, okay, can so, I go downstairs and meow? So, so we're going to go 10 feet, uh, so 15, 10, so it's 25. I still have 45 feet of movement, and I'll try to make my spurring myself over here. Oh, hello. Oh. You have joined me in the crate world. <laughs> good, good. Uh, as Ellie kind of lands over here, and says, "I see these weird metal things. I think, uh, Kyle Deckham, you probably know how to handle those things." I don't know how to handle anything mechanical. I never did maintenance on my ship. I just punched it and hoped it worked. So, are we going left or right? Can I tell from here? I guess you not. Need a little perception if you want. Alright. Nope. Can't fucking tell. Yeah, either way it seems fine. <laughs> Whatever your heart desires, Elliot. Uh, I guess before I end my action, is this a wall? Yeah, it's a train car. Is it climbable? Yeah. Okay, that's all I need to know. <laughs> Can we mount and ride it? <laughs> that's it for Elliot. <laughs> this is why our party's getting places, guys. Oh, yeah. a couple of... that's, that's, that's a really, you know, I guess it's that Iron Things turn. <laughs> oh, shoot. It's probably getting very annoyed that a little but a little mosquito keeps smacking it. <laughs> hey, uh, Kyle. Actually, that did hit. Oh, God damn it, Elliot. <laughs> yep, Dang. so, uh, Kyle. Let's see here. I need to minimize his sheet so I can move him. 
because he, he leaps, and you hear the train car, which you landed on, you know, sounded pretty solid. Yeah. It sounds like a, you know, a ship falling on top of, uh, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got it. Like, yeah. leap and lands. Oh. Ah. It, and you watch the roof just collapse halfway in as it lands. Deckum, how sure. attached to you are you to your whole body? You Not very, but the so. thing inside my body is very important. <laughs> and I need a safe th Oh, wait, never mind. You don't have 150 hit points. I'm sorry, fucking <laughs> what? As you just look what? at it, and you feel it, you, you hear it like thunder as he just says something in Draconic, and then suddenly you're just like. <laughs> um, I can't see him, can I? We hear him. Uh, you can see him low. Um, you have a will. Oh, no, I still get this. You get it at the end of your turn. <laughs> uh, the sense creature <laughs> makes a con. <laughs> Sorry, Kyle, I tried. I'm yeah, mid sentence, Kyle just is better. <laughs> flops over. I'm gonna die. Mm, deck him. <laughs> Cracks robotic knuckles. So as my first, I will sprint over to just here, and then I will, just before casting, I will use tempestuous magic to fly up ten feet to get up there with her. Hello, friend. And I I will kinda I will just I'm just gonna try to spear tackle her off the fucking rail car. <laughs> fucking what? <laughs> so in your stunned state as you're looking in this direction, all you just see is deck of floating up, lands, and then just crouches and just goes for your abdomen. All right. So, which direction, Deckham? Uh, actually, where do you want him to land? Straight towards the bar. We're going this way. Can I catch break Kyle? Last sight. So Kyle does not take any damage. I'm probably still gonna take it because I just got speared by a metal man without yeah, being able to move. Uh, Want me to athletics or acrobatics? I believe in you, uh, yeah. Cat man. Zimar like stops and sees that Kyle and is like ninja play catch. <laughs> Hello. Catch you. Uh. Time to move. Hey, Kyle. Elliot, baby. What are you two? I, I oh wow, Moogle. By the way, the only way I could pass his DC is if I crit. Like actually. Well, Elliot is right next to you, so now you got a plus three to your saving throw. <laughs> Alright, give me a minute. Alright, uh, so that was... Yeah, that's all my, that's all everything I can do. <laughs> Alright, plus three, let's go. I only gonna get it, but we'll try. Uh, 15 plus three, 18. Nope, 22, so. <laughs> I have become vegetable. <laughs> well, that's my turn. Um. Hmm. Zamara is holding goat. Am I still holding goat? Because I was gonna say, can I pick up Kyle and move? Yes, I, I'm saying you caught, so you, you're holding goat. Yeah, Ky Kyle's, Ky Kyle's goat. Kyle's goat. <laughs> okay. Um. Do I get a movement speed penalty for this? Uh, what's your strength? Eleven. No. I mean, unless Kyle weighs. Oh, oh, I need you to make a deck save as you go through that. Oh, I'm gonna get eviscerated. Well. <laughs> oh, I see why. <laughs> yeah, no. Your eyes. <laughs> Kyle is a shield. You just hear, you just hear a cutscene kiss, like, run through oh, it. I just, yeah, yeah. 
Do you realize that somebody had just left a bear trap out for no reason? With some cheese silly. on it? <laughs> oh my god, I see it too. <laughs> <laughs> no, silly, no. <laughs> Out, out in the middle of nowhere, there was just a bear trap with cheese. The cheese has gone stale and hard, but there was definitely cheese there. Okay, then yes, that's uh, that's my turn. I got you here safe, Kyle. There's also, there's also a jeweled sarcophagus there for some reason, but you know. All right, Elliot. All right, so before I do something incredibly stupid, I do have a question. <laughs> Does and uh, DM, you'll rule however you wish to do so, but if my spiritual weapon hits, could I use Divine Smite through it? No. Okay. So I need to know. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. That, that is a line of sight. That, I feel like that would be a very weird and I'm just out. <laughs> no worries. All right, if so you I like mean... that open the can of worms, you don't also want to open either. I, I will allow you to throw a hammer to guy and smite from a distance, but spirit weapon, no. Yeah, no problem. Uh, anyway, uh, still using my bonus action. The spiral shrubble will still keep taking, <laughs> taking as okay. much hot shots at this thing as possible. That does not hit. I figured. Let me just take that down. And, uh... You know what? I'm going to dash. So... Here's 20. Uh, 10 feet up. So that's uh, still 40. I'm going to literally hop right off through here. Or... <laughs> so you're going up and over? Yeah. Uh, okay, so 30, 40. Also, have another, uh, I have another 30 down. I mean, 10 down, so I got 20 to move. Deckham in the back. <laughs> I'm fine. Don't worry about old Deckham. I'm just gonna shout over to this direction quickly as I land. Zamar, is yours is your path more clear than mine? I think I'm heading your way. Alright. I'll take a gamble. On my way through here. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, uh. There's a warning sign that says loaded. You don't know why a gnome would keep a loaded cannon in here, but they have. Why are we questioning what gnomes aren't doing, and why are we questioning what they are doing? You know what? Hold on. Oh, no, I already used my action to dash. Fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can just look back for a brief second. It's like, oh, he's kind of in light of sight. <laughs> okay, continue. <laughs> Who's in line of sight? He's referring to the big... <laughs> the big boy. He did exactly what Deckham told, told him not to. Drop. You hear the sound of... You're pretty sure something back there moving before... You hear the sound of one of these containers being torn apart. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> oh! Uh, oh! oh. <laughs> As you literally watch him Kool-Aid Man, but it's it's the creepiest one because he's like, you had seen him before, but these eight-inch metal claws just shred through this metal. As you watch piles of paperwork and other things also getting shredded. Oh no! Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh good. Good, good. Right. Alright. Well, shit. I cannot see another way to go. Alright. Well. So, from where I'm standing, this jet engine, right? Yes. It's connected to this thing. See? If I somehow overcharge this thing. Do I think I'll start the jet? You do see a control panel. Oh, I do? Yeah, it, it's a control panel, right? Is Deckham, it that thing? Deckham, I don't know. Deckham, but do the it. problem is, is the engine would be aiming at where you're coming from. 
Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from? Deck them down now. I'll see myself out. <laughs> Thank God I'm I, paralyzed. <laughs> I don't know if it's the best idea, Deck them. Fucking do it. Might as well. <laughs> if we're gonna <laughs> die, we're gonna die. Fine. You, you, you remember? remember. Do you remember how I told you that you were the same material as that door? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was... Okay, I'm just gonna try to leave now. I didn't know Deckham became Gretch. <laughs> That's the Gretch bomb in him talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. I hit a wall. Yeah. Yeah. That's a where you going, buddy? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, you, you, you go in there and all of a sudden you realize you're just staring <laughs> at boxes of books that you have a weird feeling were not a big seller. <laughs> <laughs> The smell of depression is palatable. Wow. It's like sad <laughs> vampires here. <laughs> Why is there five million copies of Half Light? <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Why is there. Why is there like three uh, books that, of that uh, turn. The Why Tentacles and you, how to read. <laughs> tentacles and you, how to make best friends with tentacles and not make it weird. Yeah, that, that's a Gnomish bestseller, but anyway. <laughs> and an like Gnomes are... I was gonna say. <laughs> Secret, it was written by Illithids. <laughs> no, 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 I feel like that'd be a Callisti fanfiction after we fucking wipe out all the Illithids. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, El. Uh, hold on, I'm not... Well, now I have to crit, because Elliot is no longer near. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Slap kind of... <laughs> no... Alright, still chillin', I guess. Guess I'm carrying the guy out. This is why. I got to play the game for five seconds, guys. It was cool. Sorry. Nah, it's fine. I, I mean, kind of figured there was I mean, gonna be something we, we, happening. We did, we did, we did, well, I did sort of provoke the, uh, the super killing machine, and... Amar, you and the, and the goat. Okay. Don't set off another trap, for the love of God. And I might use bonus action. Oh! How do I shoot this thing? Well, it does have a fuse. The Kinda one like time the <laughs> the one time the captain pirate with experience Wait, is fucking is... unconscious and oh, the fucking like cannon. Is a bus or something? It's a truck. A train car. It's a train, it's a train car. car. Just shoot through it. Just like, you can yeah, see yeah, it. Down the line. How do I? How do I? Do I have any way to light this? Or is that well, you Should have a flint and steel. You have a you have, have a Kyle. She has a she has a pointy horn to use for a spark. <laughs> I I think I have a flint and steel. Just smear just smear Kyle's face. I have a thing. herbalism kit. I have to have something in there that can Wait, light. Uh, let me put it this way: you got enough metal on you. You're pretty sure you can cause a spark somewhere. I was gonna okay. say, you can just strike your well, tail off it, too. Uh, go for broke. Uh, uh, shoot the cannon. It's perfect line of sight. Yeah. Okay, then roll me 5d10. Oh. <laughs> this man's about to get fucking blasted. I did, can I do... 5d10. I was guess. Wow. Uh, that's good. Uh, 4, 7... Uh, 14, 25. 16, 20, or 20, 23. <laughs> Wait, did I do my, or 23, yeah, I, I did my math back. on that last one. Yeah, you blew his ass back through it. <laughs> <laughs> you did save yourself a little bit of time. By further Wait, um, is Power Word stun concentration? I don't believe so, let me check. God, it's why not, did no, I take no, the Eberron spell on, off? <laughs> Uh, uh, no, it's not concentration. No, it that makes isn't. sense. It's a power what? word. How long does it last? Just until you end it. 
just says I think it's, Oh yeah, it just never ends until you end it. Oh, that's <laughs> kinda shitty. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. Uh yeah, we're gonna say an hour. Let me see. Maybe I got something for that. No, no, I'll I'll roll a nat twenty eventually. Fine. Or a resto. That's why I'd say an hour, because a nat taking a twenty is considered taking an hour. Okay. I do uh, the, um, I do happen to have access to Lester Restoration. Would that be helpful to her? I think it removes stun, doesn't it? It I does not. It, do it doesn't say it. It just says, uh, blind, no, deaf, No, Greater Resto specifically. Is oh, okay. So, I'm sorry. I tried. Nah, I'm fine. All right, Actually, Zimar, wait. That was a good shot. Elias, no. it's your turn. I do got something. What the hell am I talking about? I gotta lay on hands. Oh, <laughs> What the fuck am I talking about? Touch yes. the goat. <laughs> <laughs> Touch the God, that reminds me of that fucking shit post. Touch there the go. cow. Do there it. There we go, because look, he says, uh, you can, uh, actually, let me reread that again. Neutralize. Well, give it a few more minutes, and Kyle might be grass. You can touch grass. <laughs> uh, hold on, let me see. Um, uh, it says any oh, disease one poison, or neutralizing yeah. it. Yeah, it's only poisons. Yeah. Uh, you don't have, the later effect is that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sorry, Kyle. I tried. That's ah, fine. I kind of. Right. That's why I was kind of looking over. I'm like, huh. I will play the game next time. Yeah. So anyway, one more time. Spiritual weapon. Slap this thing again. And go through the tunnel and just slap. Oh my god. Pray that misses. That's fine. I mean, if I if, if I can get just a few lucky shots in, I'll consider it a victory. But uh. Dash. I'm sorry I stole your thunder. I just saw the cannon and I couldn't help myself. No, it's perfect. I was gonna do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, thunder, you know, you both are sitting there going, ah! What? Because I, I, I feel like, I feel like, um, Elliot may not know how to fire a cannon right off the bat. He's seen them, but never used them, so you saved him the trouble. Alright, so, uh, ready to hear that's half the movement speed. You uh, do see that you can pass through this one, the inside of that. Oh, okay, so hold on, let me push myself back up there again. So this one is empty and you can pass through it. Okay, perfect. I thought that was uh, climbing. Alright, so uh, Elliot's gonna shout, There's an open path in the red container thing. And you dash. That He's shouting out loud, so. That's 35. What? Kyle also gives like a thumbs up, but it doesn't move, so it's like, eh. and... Man, I wish I would have mind link. Wait, I could still mind link with you because that's mental, and I don't know how that works with stun. Uh, good question. I, I feel like if it's a powered word, it's just like <laughs> your whole cog. Holy sh shit, what was that noise, boy? Did you get the phone? You! <laughs> well. <laughs> you! You! You're. You! <laughs> that's all. I, <laughs> that, 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 that's all you hear from Elliot, and that's the end of end of his turn. Actually, that's um, like the first genuine emotion that I've heard come out of Elliot. <laughs> like, Yo! <laughs> How dare you? Okay, that's it for Elliot. Fucking god damn it! Besides utter fear from the clowns, that is, I should say. It's getting close to get. Now he got cannon blasted. You can you can run Deckham. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Deckham, was... do you not have D door? Nope. How? Oh, why? Deckham is a. Didn't take it. <laughs> Isn't D door a fifth level spell? Nope. No, it's fourth. Huh. Oh my That's, it's, it's great for like pretty much every class late game <laughs> or mid game because like I'm tired of moving. I don't have to move. Yeah, that seems like he would he do. Oh no. No, that would be too easy. He's about to detour on top of us. Run no. Zimar. Zimar, I do need you. Er, let me see if this will hit you. Oh shit, he's got a power word. Kill you. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess I, I think it's 32. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold on. I don't think you can catch it. Wait, no. You can't catch it, but you can wait, block wait. the damage still. 
Catching it just says you took it. <laughs> what about what about this? Yeah, technically you could no. have to damp. Well, oh wait, no, it's only melee. No, it's that's it needs to be a physical object, not a goo ball. Yeah. Oh, I saw it, it, acid it's not, it goo ball. It's like an arrow shaped thing of acid that. Well, that's you the thing. You catch just, up, it, is why it was a thirty-two to hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you can't even reduce the damage you would take anyway from that. So normally, like out in retrospect, you can technically minimize damage, but that's only from like non-magic things. No, I mean, if you have, if you have the butcher music, you can, but I don't think. Monks have that? Music. No. Oh no, they do. Um, the new, the astral monks can actually deflect energy. Uh, okay. It's the only one. It's the only one that can, as far as I'm aware. Because I remember. I... Wait, are you gonna use me as a shield? Wait, am I getting hit with that? Because I think that's splash, right? You are being carried. Yeah, no, but there's splash. Yeah. Makes, and damage immediately. Oh wait, no. Never mind. I for some reason I thought it had splash damage. So wait, oh, wait. So is it area? Hold on. No, it's not. No. I thought it was. You, you took that damage into the face. And uh, I just take it. I just take it. Uh, yeah. See, I was reading on a miss. It's a splash. It splashes you where you only get hit with the acid for half. But I'm okay. trying to find it, but I was just trying to look at the uh, the magical defense thing. Oh, no, that's that's my attacks count as magic. That's it. Yep. Yeah. There, uh, there's... Uh, there's only one monk that gets uh, deflect energy, and you're not that kind of monk. I'm assuming. You're not. You're not JoJo punching someone. <laughs> no, he's open hand. Yeah, then no. Which means eventually he gets oh. to punch a guy and just kill them. But <laughs> yeah, you could stop their heart. I fucking the, love that in open hand. I the love five, uh, the five inch punch. <laughs> five finger death punch. Pretty much. I love that band. <laughs> so, uh, Deco. You wanna get down here? Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Would yeah, you like to I join do. us? Would you like I'd to like join to the class? I'd like to cast myself. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, buddy. That only still gives me 60 feet for this round. So I can't dash. I mean, that's still a decent amount. Yeah. Get you plus, you get, plus you get another 10 feet from Tempestuous, don't you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you got 70. <laughs> Alright, time to crit fish again. Hey, I'll roll me a uh, D8. One. Okay. I need everybody to make me a uh, deck save. I cannot oh. use it. Time. Or, wait, do I have disadvantage on it? Yeah, I don't think you can at all. No, you don't get a choice. But Zimar keeps you where you are. Can I, can I just roll it twice? Or do you want me to roll it twice, or is that good? No, the 19 I roll the 7. Good job, Deckham. Probably the one of the few times I... Wait! I have a pace! I actually have advantage! <laughs> 13. <laughs> well, it's better than nothing. Okay, let me move you back there. Then. As you fight yourself... I know, Deckham. As the whole ship lurches, and Elliot, you have spider climb, so I guess that technically doesn't affect you then. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Unless a box just goes out of nowhere. Yeah, no. Out. no, like the whole like you realize like the whole ship just like what he was saying stability and systems. The whole ship just started twisting. All right. While they're doing that, let me and stop. Because of his weight, crunch. Nope, we we out here still. <laughs> Alrighty, Zamar. Hey, Hello. Hey. We are moving. Peace away. Oh. Uh, is this like a rope to climb across? Yeah, or you can just walk across the wing. Oh. Oh, sh Okay, we're on the ship. Oh, wait, it's... Ew! Ew! Oh, it's, it's this guy again, it's... <laughs> Have you guys had the book? He's already got the book. Did we get the book? 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 Did
Oh, he wants the porn bug. No, we didn't get the porn bug. Elliot. <laughs> you can just see Deckham out of the corner of your eye. You know what? Yeah. Oh, God, I... I thought of a fucking horrible name for a fucking... Spiritual War Weapon Forge. Go. <laughs> I thought of a horrible name for Warforge fan fiction. <laughs> Ghost in the Machine. Uh... Uh, that's why I, I mean, if it was any other enemy, you would have, like, eviscerated them by now with that damn thing. I'm not gonna lie, but... <laughs> I, know, I know, but... Stop uh... punching the funny lich, man. You're literally fighting a lich wearing full plate armor plus. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 no, I figured. just regular full. Yeah, I, I figured. It's it basically Terminator armor, but still. Uh, I'm gonna hold my action to dash the moment I see Deckham get onto the wing. Alright. Uh, and to dash, I mean, I'm dashing into the ship. He writes himself. <sighs> Hello! The questions, the questions. <laughs> but you are in range, you might be able to stop this. Uh oh. Dagum? Goodbye, Dagum. You feel okay, Dagum? Oh shit. <laughs> Dagum, you need an adult counterspell. <laughs> Immediate counterspell. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Right. oh! <laughs> that is uh, level four, so I need to say, I need the roll. Uh -huh. Guys. Guys. Don't worry. Wait. He's gone. He didn't. He didn't go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, nobody sees this, but like a magnet just shoots out of Deckham's arm that sticks to the wall of the train and sticks him there so he can't go through the dimension door. He probably told him for a brief second Elliot was ready to go toe to toe with this thing. <laughs> Alright, Deckham. You stay there. I think I just shit all over this wing. <laughs> yeah, see, see dimension door go off and then fail as you see like a ghost dimension appear next to Elliot. <laughs> For a second before it's just like, nope. Elliot, Elliot, I shit your pants. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that sounds like a terrible cat thing. <laughs> Don't do it. Alright, as soon as I see uh, Deca coming in, I'm following in right after because I did say my prepared action was to dash after. Alright. Does anybody want to help detach the rope? I'm right here. I I already used my action. Have... Unless I can just cut the damn thing. <laughs> can I just punch it? Cut. You can blow a roll for me. Okay. Punch! Slice. <laughs> Wait, where is it? Here we go. <laughs> oh, Elliot, you missed it because, but uh, but Zimar, you're like, nope, fuck this whole like whole thing that's attaching it, and you break the railing. <laughs> and uh, I feel like from with, the, I feel like from the, the order. grace of a brawling bastard. <laughs> I, I need I, a wisdom save from everyone. Okay, well, everyone got a plus three because they're right next to, uh, Elliot. Alright. Oh my god, of course that's the one I nat on! God damn it! Well, at least your brain wasn't melted. Uh-oh. Very true. So whoever does get a 16 or higher has that much damage, psychic damage. Uh, wow, I think this is probably the only time... Wait, what do I roll? Wisdom save. This is probably the uh -oh. only That's time I actually have to... Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Check him. Ah, hello, sir. Give me that oh. wisdom save. You do have a plus three from Elliot's aura. Wisdom. Okay, so Zamar and Deccan both took 15, Elliot took half, and then half, so negates. 
Or no, no, that would have been a 15, and I said 16, so Elliot yeah, takes I, half. I, I still failed it, but... Kyle takes half. Which, I guess you could half again, because of the rogue things. So, that would be nothing. So I, I uncanny dodged my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense, if she's what is a soul knife, too, so that would especially psychic. I might be having a seizure, but I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Mental, mentally, my er, physically, my body sucks. Mentally, fuck you. As you two, as the small little skiff dingy spelljammer escapes, and... I guess maybe just one final time, I'll just have a spiritual have to take another pot shot. <laughs> <laughs> last one. What you guys heard was a roar before the ship literally listed and flipped like something about as you saw him fall back through the, the hold as it literally tilted away from you and broke in half. <laughs> okay, I just, I just gotta take another one more pot shot as a jerk as I am. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Does not hit. Wait, wait, wait. Oh I'm God. throwing rocks at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> We are. <laughs> and that that's that final roar, folks. You guys begin passing through as you head through the mists. Kyle, you come out of the stunned state. The captain is sitting there steering as you guys enter the mist, which is at this point just cold. But you can sense that you're about to come out somewhere else that you feel the energy around you as you look back another plane begins to dissolve and collapse in on itself the ship seeming to sink into the void itself around it like a titanic which is smaller than this ship i guess that's one way to get rid of an evil creature why does Zinmar smell like shit? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're lucky you don't weigh up very much or else you'd be a paste on the floor back there. Thanks. Yes, I'm surprised I none of my healing abilities that I have limited as they are didn't have any effect on what was done to you. Probably some bullshit lich stuff, to be honest. Though, Must I... Must be a pain! I give, I uh... Get mark, my logs! Old man, man I do, I, I, not <laughs> shut up, old man! I just give Zamara a pat on the shoulder. I we're gonna hit a wall or come back out the other side and be sucked into that hole, so... I just give Zamara a pat on the shoulder. Good thinking on that cannon thing. It was much bigger than the one. Wait, there was a cannon? There... Yes. <laughs> there was a cannon. You didn't you take your it? Your to it. it was about half the size of the ship. Plus we had a giant murder armor lich after us. Ah, sir, uh, do not fear. Here, I have retrieved your tome. Oh, good. Thank you. Is it Warforge has gone wild? No, it <laughs> no, no, it's no, Christian Claw. Not, not that one, not that one. Yeah, this one's for me. <laughs> <laughs> that one is for <clears throat> me. Oh, fuck, oh. I forgot. Look, that little bitch Timmy apologized before he died. Fuck him. Oh, deck him. By the, well, we have time, and she'll hand deck up the blueprints that she got. Here's those grenade blueprints that I grabbed. Oh! Fantastic! Now I, I actually... need a welder. Uh -huh. Well, since I get, you get me something, and I'm getting us out of here. I also got this for you. He holds up a scroll. Of what? What's this? It's a title for a ship. I told you I had something to pay you with. I grabbed it immediately. A what now? I hear if you take it to a man named Graves, he'll get you a boat. 
Oh, thank fuck, it's been so long. I don't know if I trust that man. His hands go the wrong direction sometimes. Yes. He's a... fiend of some sorts. I mean, sometimes oh. people's heads go on the wrong way, but they still talk normal. Kelly just gives Kyle a long, very much emotionless stare. Even the captain is doing that with his one weird eye, like, what? <laughs> you see some shit. I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Vampires have weird fetishes. <laughs> Alright. The mists are cold as you pass through them, but as you've gone through the mist ways, you recognize this feeling. Becca will take out his lantern. And it guides you. Oh shit, we forgot to go get the guy. I'm sure he can handle himself. Or at the very least, just simply assumes that we're dead and be gone with his life. Yeah, that's true, I guess. Okay. Well, I guess worse comes to worse. If we see him again, he could, we could say hello. You're talking about the Vistani, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So... Is there anything more you want to talk about, or...? Uh, you'd probably vamp for a few minutes. Why? <laughs> because it, there's, a, there's a transition, so... That's yeah, okay. Yeah, um, I mean, I think the most... Or, Elliot, I would just do the transition, unless... Yeah, Elliot, and most he's gonna do is just simply... Congrats, oh, pat, uh, Zamar on the shoulder and congratulate him in, on the quick thinking of using the cannon. But... I saw the opportunity and I took it. That's perfectly fine. I was thinking the same thing as well. So, for what seems short for some of you, and hours to others, that cold, clinging moisture, that foggy weight of the mists that seems to chill to the bone and the humidity that hangs on you. There suddenly becomes an acridness to it. It becomes gritty. The white gray that you've seen suddenly turns into a brown. And the smell of smoke, for some of you familiar, for some of you unfamiliar, the smell of bodies burning the smell of war catches you right before you realize that the ship just suddenly listed as you notice that the captain's hands are no longer in existence as he looks at you well looks like i get to pass on good luck folks and right in that instant he disappears what do you guys do you each have I'm fucking... goodbye I'm... <laughs> he, Ellie just gives him a blessing. I give him a little bit of a reach around. <laughs> whoa, whoa! I don't think he wanted to pass him that way. <laughs> I was, I was. Ellie was gonna give. Ellie was just gonna give him a, a slight play. I know, I know. What's all this then? Uh, he was, he was gonna give him a prayer blessing of may you find your. Afterlife I, I, that I you would see. mention that the digging you're on, since it's flying, is now. Uh... Yeah, Kyle's gonna take control of the wheel. All right, roll me some ship piloting. I don't know what I roll for that. Do you not have uh, proficiency I in? I I find it. Missiles? I do not. I'd what what kind of shitty captain are you? The one that I couldn't get them. I physically couldn't find a way to get them outside of feeds, and I did have like a background that let me take it. Oh, I, I gave you the option to just swap them in, but anyway. I guess Can I take it? Well, so roll me, uh, wisdom or intelligence. 
I guess it'll be something like survival. <laughs> I'll roll intelligence. Oh no. There we go. Ah, oh, you write yeah. things. But then you remember that you're right driving a spell jammer. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, someone else has to do some other shit. I don't know how these things fly. Because the last time I stole a sky ship, I crashed it. I into the ocean. What? <laughs> You do know that. Four wind didn't like when I took it. <laughs> All right. Uh, to act a little, I guess, go below deck to see if there's something he needs to tinker with. But I'm sure I'll roll me either. Elia will just. Or a deck save. Elia will just ask Kyle. You said you say deck save? Strength or dex? Strength or dex? Uh, give me one sec. Hey. Hey, that makes sense. Uh, wait. Now you're rolling. Uh, oh. Yeah, of course. Now I roll well when I actually have things All I'm right. good in. Hold on, strength. Well, remember, you guys always got the plus three of your. Oh, oh. fuck. <laughs> Elliot. Someone's got to grab Elliot. You have advantage on this set because you have spider. Okay, let me just roll that again. Thank oh, fuck. Okay. Cause yeah, you 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 you're suddenly like, oh wait, I can just stand on it. <laughs> I was gonna ask uh, Kyle since she's the ship captain. Kyle, considering you're the captain of a ship, is there anything that could be manned here or worked on? Uh, there's prob considering this is a spell jammer and I don't know much. There's probably uh, arcane interface that we may not want to make sure it doesn't well, overload. Those saves were because. Um, it was suddenly a very abrupt stop. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, I'm home. Oh god, oh. I'm home. Where are we? <laughs> we are you right on top. Crash in muddy snow, surrounded by craters. The sound of men die, women dying, and future deaths. For some of you, recognize the sounds of war on a massive scale. I... Brothers, what the fuck is this and why am I here? Oh. Um, Deckham, are these your cousins? We don't recognize any of them here yet, except for... Nothing Shenzhen. looks familiar. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, I, I didn't know if I could see the map yet, because I could see, like, yellowish. No, we, oh. You should be able to see what you can, because there's a haze. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I okay. mean, I'll say you this... Know, you can definitely see this thing. Z zoom, zoom all the way back. Like, zoom far back. Yeah. I mean, oh. you can definitely see this thing and feel it as it moves past. You're pretty sure you might have hit it when you hit, before you landed. Oh, shit. This is why I don't fly spell jammers and stick to water. I suspect the concept is not that different. It's just the mechanics of it. Shut the fuck up and get your cover! Do you see an entrance to trenches here? Jacob usually has very refined presence, as you guys have literally always seen him. But just turned into war mode, and he just, like, roadie runs. So crouch down and just starts running towards those trenches. I guess Elliot. I'll just keep mm -hmm. dive rolling. Yeah, Elliot's not gonna question it. He trusts his... Deckham's, uh, words. Dodge roll, dodge roll, dodge roll. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you survive in war. Oh. Oh dear god. Well, that looks like a familiar old face. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I want it. I don't. Oh, it's C-3PO. I was thinking of a dialect for a brief second, but... Okay, that's just, uh... That's it? definitely Warhammer. <laughs> better got... at dying. There's this war machine, but... Ah, uh, okay. I always get the two kids. It looked like Warhammer because of the symbology. Ah, yes, the skin flesh robots. My favorite. Oh. Oh. Why am I just seeing the one in the bottom right just like now? <laughs> ah, yes, the other skin flesh robots. <laughs> yeah, this is a war zone. Like, what the fuck is going on here? A wall. What is it good for? 
What audience Moogle? No one watches this except Sam. <laughs> Molly's watching right now. Maybe. <laughs> I, I, I could actually see Zimar doing that, just walking in by. <laughs> <laughs> what is it going for? Slaps a few people with his tail. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I've done, done lost my mind at this yes. point, so. Can I have some? Oh, at this place. I'm at about ah. 50% of my capacity. <laughs> Alright, well. Uh, how, like, okay, so on table, how much are you missing? Because Elliot will just uh, pour the I whole have, thing. I'm missing 32. Alright, he gives. Uh, Elliot will pour uh, 30 of his 40 lay on hands on you. Alright, so how do we get through this without immediately getting murked? Keep your heads down, make sure they're fighting someone else, and we'll try to just get through without causing too much of a commotion. But if we do... Don't. So we're... Uh, taking the... evasive maneuvers, then. New recruits, get to the front line! Well, we tried. Shit. Good job, team. Rank and commander. He just points. All right. Uh, Jack will lead the way. Forces. He just points out across. <laughs> you can roll me an insight if you'd like. Absolutely. And also like my perception. Fuck me. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll burn my inspiration. Roll it again. <laughs> You know what? I'll burn my inspiration and hold it again. There we go! <laughs> You're not entirely sure he's all with it. Whoever this commander is, is with it. As in, he's probably been doing this long enough that this is all he knows. Alright, the commander's lost his marbles completely. And you also realize most of these around here are some form of undead, along with other things that you're not entirely sure. You've never seen this sort of force before. The big guys look a little familiar. But not enough to really jostle anything. But I do need that perception. In fact, I'll have oh, you yes. the perception now that you've moved in a little bit. Uh, he will Sorry. look back at uh, kind of actually all three of you. Whichever one feels stealthy enough to try to find this vantage point to see a way through no man's land. I'll see what I can do. And right, as she does that, I'm also gonna use my thing to connect us. Let me roll a d8 for that real quick. Hey, seven hours, as long as I don't go a mile away. So now we can talk. She just points at her head. Uh, let me open her sheet again. Exceptional. There we go. 18. Okay, Zamar. Shalom. Bad perception. Elliot's focused on everything else, like this weird set of armor that's sitting in a, on a dead body next to him. Yeah. Uh, it, it might be full plate. It, it might be the DM being nice, I don't know. The rest of you, on the other hand, <laughs> especially Jekum, 
as you look at across about two kilometers out from your estimate something in your memory bank kicks in for the other two you see a mountain of what looks like dead robots dead warforged huh and bones uh, dragon bones where would be the highest vantage point from what I can tell uh technically where you're at okay I guess it, wait oh, so like wait. so does it like dip downward then like it like slowly goes yeah, down the you're on a hill and it starts going down oh, okay okay Oh. <laughs> well, Deckham, unless you want me to go physically into the battlefield, it seems this is probably the best vantage point we have. Wouldn't call it defensible, though, considering there's that fuck points at the giant thing all, all the way down. Deckham, but you do notice some buildings. The over there. You do notice some bu buildings, though, that might be more passable. All right. I guess just not stir trouble, but and just be careful. Hopefully, yeah. So Check them. There's some memories sitting there in the back of your head. I need to go there. All right, off we go then. I think we'll just add. We'll go or. We'll go together. He also looks at the armor on the... Or the corpse of the armor on the ground. Gives it a quiet prayer. That was the loudest quiet prayer I've heard in a while. Max. Max the armor. May your god bless you, smack. <laughs> <sighs> Elliot, I suggest putting that on... Right. I'm a little bit against the idea of pilfering the dead, but we need to survive. Well, if the commander has anything to say about it, I'm sure he won't be dead for long. There's a pause on that. Looking at it, you recognize that this wasn't undead at one point, and now it's just been destroyed enough. Right. As uh, Elliot's taking the armor off, he's probably going to give it a couple of hits just to make sure it stays dead. <laughs> the divine smite. It, it, it's crumbly. I was oh, making sure. No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, just, make, I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. Uh, I'll just burn a divi uh, first level divine smite. Okay, I mean it's it's gone. Yeah, but I'm just making sure. Make roll. That's fine. I yeah. just. I just right, um, as, as... Sorry. I was just saying, so I'll just put the plate armor on. Uh, give me a moment to change from chainmail to plate armor. Then, uh, what is it? Full plate or is it just half plate? Full. Oh. Okay. One moment. He'll be even louder now. <laughs> <laughs> no joke. He probably will be very loud. Okay. I'll just... We need to get you some mithril half plate or full plate. I think that's the one that takes away uh, disadvantage. Uh, 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 on, on, on table, I, I don't think it's a good idea because Elliot only has a 10 dex. <laughs> it's better than rolling a disadvantage. Mithril anything does that, then Adamant here removes the, crit, oh, the chance to get crit. Alright, Kyle, what is your spot? Is there any safe place to get through No Man's Land? Um, That's the big empty spot in the middle. There's a building kind of off that offshoots, and it doesn't seem like anyone's really deviating to there. Right, we'll head through there, try to get through. <sighs> yeah. Alright. Stick to the trenches. If we get caught out, I can help deal with it. Do not stop. That's how you get shot. Very well. And right. just remember... Oh, sorry. 
So that's, the, I mean, that's when Taka was going to start moving if he had something else to say. And just remember, she points to her head. Just in case. And all of your mind. down to a minimum. I know that's a problem for looks at Elliot and himself. Us. Lead the way then, Deckham. <laughs> Damn it, Elliot. <laughs> I, uh, he will move out into the trench and kind of peek around. Do you see, uh, does he really see anything that looks hostile towards this side? I mean, coming at you, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, is this like a pit, or is it like a, a hill? A flooded part. Oh, okay. I thought this was grass or something. No, it, it that's like... You're not entirely sure what kind of mud, muddy water, but you're pretty sure you don't want to get in it. That's why they have, like, planks going in places. Like, that one's just completely flooded. Um, you passed by an area up there where there was like a pit with some barrels and stuff in it. The barrels. Catch you every time. So just to explain, I let me get this. The hill basically starts climbing up that direction. So you guys are going down it currently on these trenches. Yeah. Okay. And like the little rock face are basically the trenches, right? Like where like this like, like the same thing, or is okay. this like a ravine? That's a weird crack in everything. Just like there's that weird part that looks like a river of blood, but I will just ignore that for now. That's not a priority. Yeah. yeah. You do notice some heavier weapons around too. Ballistas. Some kind of cannon with multiple barrels. I gotta say ballistics. These big guys shooting machine guns. I suppose I should have I should have asked this before, but Kyle, Zamar, are you both in tip top condition? The fine tip top. As in, you're not bleeding on all of your innards from your no. ears, eyes, orifices, and the like. Pretty sure Zamar was bleeding out his ass earlier, but. <laughs> Alright. Deckham, lead the way or. <laughs> you all could climb, right? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I will need to cast a first level spell. Uh, or actually I need to, it's before or after. Okay. So I will, uh, use Tempestuous Magic to go up the, to hop up the trench and cast Fairy Fire right here. Okay. And then use the rest of my... movement to get into here. Uh, that's a pass. <laughs> My DC is 16. Oh, it, it's not a pass. They have, middle, they, they have a negative modifier. <laughs> get rolled. Alright. Uh, check them. You recognize a, bo a body pit when you see one? Yep. Yep, because Elliot's going to dash now. Ew. Yeah, these are just shattered bones. And Elliot, as the expert uh, undead killer, you recognize destroyed undead. Bodies that can be used for un making undead, things like that, where there's just too much damage. It is even worse at the than the cross manner. No. Actually, significantly lighter than that in a weird way. These people chose to die. They went to war. People in the cross manner could not. Yeah, they all also looked like one person. Yeah. 
Elliot doesn't say anything, but I guess Kyle probably because of the mind link. Uh, just knows that Elliot was actually referring to the use of necromancy. He wasn't... Uh, as Deco peeks around and sees the army advancing swiftly, you three get down the clash. Uh... How loud were these fights generally? You've never heard anything louder in your life. About that moment, the artillery strike begins. Ah. Behind you. Ah. Are we going down the crack here? Of this ravine? That seems like a bad idea. Yeah, as you look down, you're like, suddenly like, wait, is there a bottom to this? I think I'd fall until I rusted apart. I see. We need to get over it. Where is our destination lies? I'm assuming through the battlefield. That's the battle. Understood. That crater over there. And, um... Deco will cast, uh... Okay, Deco, <laughs> it works. Deco's gonna cast Detect Magic, and use the Fetus Magic to, uh, fly over the crack, and duck into a building. I guess since Elliot, that 18 strength should have no problem hopping over the, uh, crack, right, or... Yeah, it's not a big deal for any of you. Ah, okay. Deck, I'm just... Be more. <laughs> so, I know it's early, but this is where we're going to end for the night. Because there's some bullshit about to happen. That or the DM's tired, though. I'm gonna be honest, I'm tired. Yeah. I assume Second when you all did all maps oh. needed and <laughs> I was assuming the meds were starting to kick in, so Yeah, I, I it just took up and sometimes they hit me a little bit harder, so I apologize for that. No, oh, no big deal, man. You also... you had <laughs> You had a situation, so I, I also need Deckham to uh, send me some pictures of his squad mates. So okay. I can fuck with him. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can okay, you. what did you just say? Because you cut out like halfway through. All I heard was, I need Jeebus to send me so I can fuck him. <laughs> so you remember, what? You, you remember Gnomish Handles, the porn mag that we were talking about? He needs to send those. Okay. Ow. <laughs> I, 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 this sucks. I wanted to laugh, but it only happened was cough and headache. Um... No, I said I need Deckham to send me his squad mate, his former squad mates, so I can fuck with them. <laughs> no, just to fuck them. Right. Oh, no. right. <laughs> Thank you, Zumar. You make my life better. <laughs> <laughs> even if you, even if you did come out the gates, you know, with the joke. So, uh, <laughs> ten points from Gryffindor, which is now you. I, I was born <laughs> to be a comedian. Okay, I can. I, I make fun of anybody at any time. You know, yeah, I understand what it's <laughs> What a fucking mood. That's me too. I'm a I'm a Carlin fan who believes that nothing every either everything's sacred or nothing's sacred. Yeah. So anyway, thank you everybody. Again, sorry for this being a short session. I am still recovering. Uh it's only been two and a half weeks. And uh I'll throw it over to our next DM, Meisner. Hello, everyone. I play, uh, in my Mark, I play Elliot, who did not go into a bum rush kamikaze against the armored lich. <laughs> Almost. Anyway, I am the DM for Into the Wildlands on Sundays. 
Uh, yes, there will be a game this Sunday, bi-weekly now, and all my content is on Miser Mark on both Twitch and YouTube of the same name. And I'm going to switch around. I will hand it over to Jason. Anything to plug in? Sure. <laughs> Hello. It's been a little while. Uh, I moved completely to YouTube for streaming. And within the first, uh, like, half a month, I got, like, some, some like, 30,000 views and, like, over 180 subs or something like that. And it's been really great. Uh, streaming and, and, uh, and YouTube stuff all on uh, Surf Free For All. So um, if you're interested in that, right now we're doing a, uh, a playthrough. Me and uh, my, my seven-year-old daughter is playing through Path of Exile, and it's really fun and great. Uh, and, uh, and, yeah, so... Whoever, uh, I'll send it to the Jeep. I'll send it to Jeebus. Hello, Jeebus. Hello. Uh, I'm Jeebus Sadigas on Twitter and YouTube. Uh, you can find pretty much all of our content on my YouTube channel. Uh, yeah. I don't stream on Twitch anymore either. Made my life a lot easier. Uh, but other than that, you can catch Drink Salvation next Monday. Uh, the group will be coming off a, uh, Somewhat of a bit of a break period, really kind of depending on the group, which is usually the weird part. So uh, I will need to speak with the group, see how long uh, they take off. But uh, other than that, I'll send it over to the uh, last person, Mr. Kyle. Hello. I am... <laughs> I'm Perth Six Manor, I play Kyle, the uh, pirate that did one thing and then immediately got said, told no not allowed but um yeah you, you can find me on Transpace Mariner on Twitch and DM Mariner on Twitter and uh, yeah next Sunday for my g or following Sunday we'll be playing my game where we get to uh get to maybe go to the black market maybe watch Delhi hit on more people again put some trauma at the party have to do literal legal advice you know all the fun stuff that people love Jelly's yeah in, jelly is into uh dominatrix raccoon girls and then summons us then summons a raccoon familiar uh yeah <laughs> i guess that's it i'll throw it back to Google. so yep thank you everybody for joining us we'll be back in two weeks other than that i uh normally do commissions but they're on hold until i get everything sorted out and uh yeah thank you for joining us tonight Bye. once again i made my offer to you hasbro yeah <laughs> yep. and uh i will just add a quick moment of we don't need hasbro or wizards of the coast you guys need us because we have the money so bend the knee the ones who play the games, not them. <laughs> All Obviously. Right. Good, good night, everyone. Good night. Can I take my raccoon girl from me? Oh.